Tonight, college freshmen are preparing to start school soon and decide which major may be for them. But there's one career path that's seen fewer people interested, and that's education. 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell spoke to educators in Florida about the hurdles our state may face when trying to recruit. Somewhere between low wages. We have the fourth largest economy in America. We're 48th in teacher pay and new legislation outlining strict do's and don'ts. This vilification of teachers. Veteran educators say it's no surprise that college students are looking to other industries to earn a living. Fewer and fewer college students are choosing education uh, as their career path. Data from the National Center for Education Statistics shows that while enrollment in college has gone up, choosing to graduate with a degree in education has fallen. The data shows almost 90,000 fewer people graduated with education degrees in 2021 than did in 1971. Andrew Spar of the Florida Education Association says he met with a few dozen education students this spring and when I asked them how many of them intended to teach in Florida, I think only two or three hands went up. Pinellas Classroom Teachers Association President Lee Bryant says it's not surprising that some current educators are leaving the state while future educators may be afraid to come. There's a, a massive amount of, I'm going to get in trouble if I say this, LGBTQ teachers that can't put a picture or they don't think they can put a picture of their spouse on their desk because they're worried about the ramifications of that. Brian says he constantly heard colleagues planning to leave Florida and teach elsewhere all during a time when the Department of Education listed seven different subjects with critical level vacancies. But it's not cheap to live here, but we're getting paid like it's still cheap to live here. In Pinellas County, Miranda Parnell, 10 Tampa Bay. Both Brian and Spar tell us to make Florida competitive. It will have a lot to do with lawmakers if we want to be competitive in bringing in and keeping teachers. Now, they encourage future educators to follow their hearts if they believe teaching could be for them but advise them to enter the field knowing that they will likely have to advocate for better benefits.